Today I'm with uh, Professor Prash Sanders from the University of Adelaide, and we're going to talk about alternative therapies for atrial fibrillation. Prash, welcome to the show. Thanks, Kevin. So tell us a little bit about why you think diet and exercise is so vital to the treatment of atrial fibrillation. So, so what we've been uh, doing, uh, Kevin, is we've been looking at people with atrial fibrillation, and what we've found is a large incidence of people who are overweight with a number of risk factors. And clearly diet, exercise, and managing these risk factors are crucial parts of their overall care. And as we did this, we found that atrial fibrillation sometimes went away. Um, we work on these now aggressively. We've been able to show that around 40 to 50% of people uh, without drugs, their atrial fibrillation can settle down over a long period of time. And so now we've instituted this into a stable clinic where this is part of the aims of what we achieve in a person who has atrial fibrillation. So tell us a little bit about the program. You know, I had the pleasure of visiting your institution and I'm just blown away and I would love for the rest of our audience to hear more about what you do at your clinic. Yeah, so the way we've got our clinic set up is it, it's a single person running the risk factor clinic. The AF team who sees the AF patient it has to have an important role in motivating the person, uh, highlighting the importance of why they need to lose weight and treat their risk factors. And then the person who's running the risk factor clinic really s prescribes what needs to be done. So they prescribe how much weight they've got to lose at each time point, review methods of how they can achieve it. So they, it's a question of looking at their diet, seeing where there are opportunities to reduce either the meal size or the content of the meal to get them to lose weight, increase their exercise capacity and monitor their risk factors. And in changing the amount each time, we're able to gradually drive change in these individuals uh, in a sustainable way so that they actually maintain it even after they've completed uh, the program with us. That's fascinating. You know, what is next for Prash Sanders and the University of Adelaide? Because you're one of the most innovative guys I know, and we all are so proud to have you as part of the society. So what, what's coming down the pipe? So, so I think what we've got to do now is make this clinic uh, transportable between sites. And so part of the uh, program here is we've now engaged Allied Health who are going to be running this program. We're building computer software that can actually be intelligent and actually train the trainer on what needs to be said. And hopefully we can show that this is going to be reproducible so that we can make this available to any site managing people with atrial fibrillation. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Really fascinating work. And we're all, again, proud of you because you're leading the way in this area. Thanks, Kevin.